Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to Christian Labor. Please do like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the donate button, or click on some of the ads. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks. I wanted to talk a little bit about Ben Carson. Ben Carson did really well with GOP debates last week. It really bumped him in the polls. He said some things that I liked as a Christian, but he said some things that are complicated, especially I just want to talk about the flat tax. And it kind of remains to be seen whether I can talk about something that complicated uh, while winging it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Ben Carson talks about the flat tax, the 10% tax, the tithe, it's what we called it in the church, um, talks about it as being intrinsically fair, and it is intrinsically fair. If you make $10, pay $1 in tax, $10,000, you pay 1000 It's proportional, it's fair. The problem with proportional and fair taxes in a modern society is that the whole rest of our economy is not proportional and fair. So if we're going to talk about the Bible, let's talk about the whole Bible. Let's talk about the year of the Jubilee. In the year of the Jubilee, all debts are forgiven. All slaves are to be released. And by slaves, by the way, the Bible does not mean chattel slavery, uh, like America had. Uh, there were a class of people who were chattel slaves. They were foreigners caught during war. And even those people, if they ran away, they were not going to get their foot cut in half and return to their owner. There is a Bible verse that says very specifically, if a slave runs from his master and comes to live in your area, you may not return them to their master, but you must make time or space for them in your community, yada, 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 blah, blah. Point being, there is no slavery like American slavery in the Bible, period. The end. Anybody tells you otherwise? Liar or ignorant, one of the two, but it's just not there. It's just not there. Speaking of the Jubilee, any and all slaves, debt slaves primarily, all their debts forgiven, return to their inheritance. What is the Jewish inheritance? Well, as it turns out, every single Jew in Israel was supposed to have their own land. You know, kind of like Americans did when they came from England and took it from the Indians because, heaven forbid, we share any of the land with the people who are already there. But the point is, you were supposed to have your own land. You were supposed to have your own farm or your own business. You were not supposed to work for someone else. You were supposed to work for yourself. And then you would trade or cooperate, and that would all be voluntary. See, it's not voluntary anymore. Starting somewhere in the mid-19th century, the banks started gathering up all the land, and then wealthy people started buying it all up, exactly like it happened in Europe, and we are essentially a European nation now. Um, we are not unique any longer. We, we do not own, we are not free, we're, we're, we're probably one of the least free Western nations left. We jail more of our population than any other country, including China of all places. So when Dr. Carson talks about this tax, as if it's a fair tax, as if it's a proportional tax, he fails to mention that nothing else in the economy works the way it did in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, a poor person was allowed to go into your field and pick your fruit and eat it. As long as they didn't come with a sickle and start harvesting and take it to their house, which they wouldn't have if they were poor anyway, right? They were allowed to take your food. It was the law. When you went to harvest, you weren't allowed to scrape every last ounce of it up. Anything that fell on the ground, that belonged to the gleanings, to the poor. There were so many things. Want to talk about a volunteer military? If you just got married, go home. If you just had kids, go home. If you just had a house, just bought a house recently, go home. If you're scared and you just don't want to fight, go home. <laughs> That's that's the volunteer military they had 2,700 years ago in ancient Judea, you know, according to the Bible, which the Bible itself says they never actually obeyed any of these rules, but if you want to go by biblical rules like the tithe, you may as well go by all of them, which we don't. So, seeing as how we have a massive, massive distinction between the rich and the poor in this country, and seeing as how the rich have all of the money, and seeing as how the money is fake anyway, and disproportionately assigned to the rich, I say progressive tax.
Once again, this is Shane with Christian Labor. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do like, comment, subscribe, donate, or click on some ads. We could sure use the money. Appreciate you. Take care.